Hey everyone, Tekken here with the keyboard review, and let me tell you what, the keyboard we have today is a hot one. And what we have today is the Drevo Caliber V2 71 Key Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. Now yes, it is mechanical, it uses Altimo switches, and you can get this in the blues, the browns, the blacks, and the reds, and the one we have here is the reds. But first what I'd like to do is pull you in, show you the keyboard, and I'll be right back with you and we'll talk about it a little bit. Hey, I'll be right back with you. All right, what did you think about those close-ups right there? Whew. I think this thing is absolutely gorgeous. It really is. Sorry about all the fingerprints and smudges on it and everything, because I've been using the bananas out of this thing, and I've really been enjoying my time with it, to be honest with you. Now, inside your box, you're going to get the keyboard here. You get a little manual, really not needed, and we're going to get into that here in a little bit why you're not going to need this, so we'll just throw that thing over there. You can get a keycap puller here, one of these chintzy little uh, metal ones. I really don't like these kind, and then you get a couple feet right here. All right, since so we just got done talking about those feet right here, let me show you how they work. As you see, you have the little metal circles in there. What they do is they just magnetize, bam, right onto the bottom, just like that. So again, on the bottom, as you can see, it's flat right there. No feet come out of the bottom. You have your rubber grips right there, and it doesn't move on you. And there's some nice weight to this, by the way. Look, I'm getting off track. Let me focus on the feet. <laughs> Anyways, we have our feet right here. And as you see, bam, they magnetize right on, so then you can raise them up like that. But where these things really stink, and I'd say they're not even usable, I mean, I never lift up feet on any of my keyboards. I leave it flat all the time anyways. But check these guys out. You see all that give right there? Again, it's just that little uh, oval in there goes right around that foot, and you have that give. So honestly, if you're using it down here like this, it moves around a little bit. It's not massive. It's not like going all over the place. But again, if you're sitting there typing or doing some work or whatever, it's going to get pretty stinking annoying because it's going to start budging on you. So again, if, if you're the type of person that raises up your keyboard and you use those feet out, I, I really don't think this will work for you. But again, uh, someone like me that never uses the feet, ever, you know, hey, we're set right here. So like I stated in the beginning, this is a mechanical keyboard, and it's using Altimo switches, and again, you can get them the blacks, the blues, the reds, and the browns. As you can see right here, I have the red switches. Now underneath the switches right there, the plate is metal. The whole frame around it is plastic, but the plate underneath it is metal. But what I really like about this build is the Plastic frame, if you can see right here, let me get you a good angle. There, here you go, perfect. All right, so you can see the switch, and you can see the plastic frame comes up over it right there. What it really reminds me of is like the ducky, for example, right? Let's go on and pop on our key and see if you can see a little bit better here. All right, so check our key out. Where am I at? Backwards. So you see how it goes right down into the frame? Dang, really hard to see. There, that's a little bit better. So it gets into the frame. So what it does, it really uh, eliminates that tinny, uh, tingy sound right there. It just kind of holds it all in there, and you have a very, very nice sound with this build right here. Hold on one second there. I know I just kind of drew myself right into the sound test right there, which is kind of what I was hoping to do, but there's one other thing I want to point out here. So take a look at the space bar right there and look at the stabilizers. As well over here on any of your big keys, like your enter and stuff like that, you have those other stabilizers. Really nice right there. So it's not just like this metal bar coming up holding it. So whenever you use your space bar, enter key, your shift or anything like that, it's really stable. It doesn't really bounce around as you can see right here. Pretty much wherever you press it, it just feels the exact same. Really, really nice right there. All right, so now let me go on and give you that sound test here. Again, we're using Altimo red switches here, and you guys are about right around two and a half, three feet from the mic right here. So I don't know if you guys can catch that in the camera, but down in the lower keys, you get a little bit of that tinny sound. Nothing major by any means. When I was using it, I honestly didn't even really notice it. It's just now that I'm in this uh, dead silent environment, I notice it a real pinch. But it's, again, it's not drastic by any means. It honestly really doesn't bother me at all. Now, the keycaps are just regular old sprayed ABS right there. But as you see on the bottom, they just use a basic standard kind. So you can swap any kind of keycaps right on this thing. Bam, and you'll be good to go. But again, speaking on those smudges and everything, they kind of have like that soft touch coating over them. So if you got sweaty or greasy hands or anything, it does leave quite a few marks 
marks across it right there. Now, one other thing I want to mention, as you guys have probably already spotted already, again, we talked about how it's a 71 key right here, but you have a really nice compact uh, feel and design. Like, you almost have that 60% feel with this guy with your shortcuts right over here. You know, you got your home button, your delete, your pause, and you have your arrows right over here. A 60% would kind of cut off right there and leave those off over there. But again, you have that really compact build and I love how the shortcuts are right there. That's probably one thing I didn't like about my Ducky is it kind of got a little bit, or any other 60% keyboard, not just Ducky, any other 60% board. It's just kind of, kind of tough for daily use, you know what I mean? Sure, it's great for gaming, but when you get into daily use, it gets a little tough. But right here, you have your arrows and you have your shortcuts right there, but you still have that really nice compact uh, design and feel right there. It just works out perfect. Now, as you saw earlier, it does connect by USB right there. It comes with a little rubber uh, cable right here. Feels pretty firm, not chintzy by any means, and it connects right in the back of the keyboard right here and you pop it right in there and it goes in there it's pretty, pretty firm as you can see I tug on it doesn't come out right there but you do have a little bit of wobble right there if you can see it's very mild and again, I move my keyboard around so much on my desk, it's never popped out on me. This is kind of where I go into the play of saying, hey, you don't need that manual, right? Because this keyboard is so helpful. Every single shortcut is just like printed on the keycaps right there. And it's just so nice because a lot of them is just kind of like, oh, well, make sure you press a function 11 or function home or insert this, that, or the other. You know what I mean? Again, it's printed right on it, whether it be just your cycle, uh, your, your color palette, all these shortcuts are printed right on the speed, the brightness, they're all right there. And that's honestly one of my favorite things about this keyboard. It's so simple to use. Again, the shortcuts are just right there for you. But anyways, let's get into the RGB. As you can see, it's going right here and it's crisp. You don't really have any light bleed. You see it down underneath the keys. I don't know how well the uh, camera will pick it up right there. You can see it a little bit, but it's real crisp. It comes right through the keys right there. And I really like it because it's really just crisp and sharp. As you noticed in the close-ups earlier, you have the RGB on the side right there as well. And again, going back to the keys and the shortcuts, right up here, I don't know if you guys will be able to see that, but you see, no, see, it doesn't even want to focus. Yeah, you can see it a little bit. The print's kind of small, so you can't really see the shortcuts. But anyways, it tells you right here, these are the lights on the side. So we'll go function, bam, and you can cycle through solid colors, as you can see right there. You can turn them off if you want. It'll do a little breathing effect or the motion we had right there. And it's really cool. As cheesy as it sounds, some of you just might be like, oh, who wants lights on the side of the keyboard? You know what I mean? But if you're playing with the lights side, just getting the game on, it's really cool because it kind of comes down and reflects off your desk, whether you're using a solid or this motion right here. And it just bounces off right there. It looks really cool. It really does. But anyways, going into more of the RGB right here. Again, you have your uh, color uh, mode right here. So we'll go function with that and we can cycle through all the effects. Let me get them over here tangled up. Right, and there's plenty of effects on it. What do we got here? Some a little uh, reactive type deal. What do we got? A whole bunch of different ones. There you go. So now it's going from side to side right there. And on all these effects, you can change the color. You got this little crazy one if you're into that. And again, you go function. And over here, it shows like a little uh, painting palette type deal. And you can function and hit that. And it'll do it on whatever solid color you want as well. And you can just cycle on through, right? So if you want it green or whatever, you can do that. And that goes for every single effect, which is just super cool. So again, you got this little crazy deal going right there. Bam. Let's hit it over there and get a solid on it. Just so many cool options. And it's just... There's really so much packed into this. There's so many RGB effects. I really think it nails it right there. All right, so we have so much packed into this keyboard, right? Again, we're talking right at 46 bucks. Like, come on. Like, I just love the RGB, the build, the feel, the sound. It's mechanical, Altimo Reds or whatever, Altimo you decide, you know? It's just, it's really fantastic. I love it. It's got some nice weight to it. It feels like you're getting a quality product. And again, the stuff that, it feels like there's a lot packed into this board for only 46 bucks. And talking those few negatives, I think they're so minor in my opinion. The biggest one may be uh, the feet right there. If you pop out your feet on your keyboard, no, I wouldn't recommend this one because again, when you pop them back there, it does move around a little bit and I think it's gonna take out the enjoyment from you. It's pretty gonna irk you quite a bit right there, you know? But if you're like me and you never use them, I think you got a complete win, right? Now there is one thing I'd like to share with you, just to be straight up and honest with you guys. Um, again, I paid for this keyboard with my own money, by the way, off Amazon. Hey, link right down there in the description. Uh, and again, I love this keyboard. I really do. But um, this company contacted me a while back and we talked about doing a keyboard review. They sent me one and everything. Again, not this one. I paid for this with my own money. And it was a keyboard they sent me. I really didn't like. It was an absolute piece of junk to be straight up with you, right? It was absolute trash. I couldn't find a single good thing about it. And I contacted them. I said, hey, I really don't want to review this keyboard. It's not going to suit my viewers. It doesn't suit me. There's nothing great about it. All it would make me do is trash talk your company. I don't want to do that. You know what I mean? And um, you know, they started, oh, well, this is because this, well, this is because that, that's that. So can you still review it? I'm like, 
no, I can't. Let, I'd like to mail it back to you. You know what I mean? And uh, they said, all right, whatever. Just And he was very snooty, straight to the point. Uh, oh, just mail it back to us. I said, uh, I'd like you to shoot me a return label. You know what I mean? And again, just short, snooty, and to the point. And uh, he sent it back. And I contacted him. I said, hey, man, I'd really like to you know check out some of your other boards. I gave him a list of them. And uh, again, he just straight up cut me off. So I think I just kind of you know burnt him that way. Again, I felt like I was looking out for the company. Again, the keyboard was just such a piece of junk. But, uh, you know, me personally, I say forgive and forget. Let's push it aside. I'm just, why I wanted to bring that up to you guys is I hope um, that doesn't represent the company. Again, I just wanted to share my experience with you. Um, hopefully, if there's an issue with the keyboard and you have to deal with warranty or something, you don't have to deal with that. But again, I got to be honest with you guys and share my experience. So... That's what I had. But again, I was looking at this keyboard for so long and I thought it was sharp and it honestly lives up to it. And at that 45 bucks, I really, really love it. No matter what the company did or how they acted, you know, I still love the board. You know, I'm all about let's forgive, forget and move on. And again, at 46 bucks, hey, I think you got a complete win right here. So hey, let me know down in the comments, are you looking at picking up this keyboard? Again, I highly recommend it. Coming at that at 46 bucks, if you catch it anything lower than that, like don't pass it up. Like seriously, it's worth that 46 bucks, 100%. I'd probably scoop this up before one of the other 60% we have reviewed the diary or anything like that. Again, it's just a nicer experience with your shortcuts still being there and your aerials. It's just a little bit easier to use and the shortcuts, it's just, I really love this keyboard. I really do. But hey, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to future tech videos. Hey, I hope I catch you in the next one. Bye now.